there. It's National Tight End Day. Whoa. -ho. Rise and shine as National Tight End Day is right around the corner. Welcome to a new episode of Time to Football. I'm your wonderful host, Hassan Khan. And in this episode, we're going to be giving you five players that have the potential of being traded prior to the NFL trade deadline. We've already seen some big names being shifted across the National Football League, including Jalen Ramsey, Marcus Peters, Michael Bennett. And as a Falcons fan, I even had a little bit of a revelation when this player got traded. Adam Schefter has just reported the Falcons are sending wide receiver Mohamed oh. Sanu to the New England Patriots in exchange for a second round pick. Ladies and gentlemen, if Damn. you don't think this season is ending up so we're tanking, tanking. Tank for Tua? You gonna take Vic Beasley with you? We'll give him to you for free. Man, Dan Quinn is gonna be fired. Who we get next? Chris Richard, Robert Sala, Kellen Moore, Josh McDaniels? Why do I still watch football? The Patriots are going to win the whole thing. Man, our offense is too talented to be this bad. This ain't even a Nike jersey. It's Reebok. Maybe there's a possibility we can win nine games in a row, go 10-6, and six, and make the playoffs. But before we name our five trade candidates, we're going to tell you about Overlay DFS. This is daily fantasy football where every matchup is in a start or sit format. Pretty much you just guess which player is going to have more fantasy points for that week. Some of the matchups for this week include Gordon Minshew versus Sam Darnold, Todd Gurley versus Nick Chubb, T.Y. Houghton versus Keenan Allen, which that one should be a freebie because Keenan Allen is dealing with a hamstring injury, but there's so many more matchups as well. If you're a perfect 12 0 in your predictions, you win a grand prize of $25,000. And if you're not perfect, you just got to finish in the top 10% to win nine times your money. And the progressive jackpot, it's at $27,800. Take advantage of it while you can. Download the app for iOS or click on the link in the description, www.overlaydfs.com. Hungriest player of the week, the one that wanted it the most. Green Bay Packers quarterback Aaron Rodgers, despite being on a very good team, has been the subject of criticism as of late because people just look at his stats and apparently that's all that matters nowadays. He hasn't had his best receiver in recent weeks. The Packers now have a run game, so Aaron Rodgers doesn't have to throw the ball a lot. But people look at his numbers and they say to themselves, is Aaron Rodgers still a very good quarterback? Well, you got your answer. This past Sunday against the Raiders, he threw for 429 yards, five touchdowns, and the old man ran for one as well, proving that he's one of the best quarterbacks in the National Football League. And that is why he is the hungriest player of the week. Now we're going to mention five players that could be traded prior to the NFL trade deadline. But we're also going to mention the best landing spot, a team that needs this player the most. Starting with our first candidate, offensive tackle Trent Williams of the Washington Redskins. Which team could use him the most? The Tennessee Titans. A realistic possibility of him being traded there. The Browns are the front runners and pushing the hardest to get Trent Williams. But Williams is at odds with the Washington Redskins, so it seems like they're not going to hold on to him. Instead, think of the Tennessee Titans, who gave up the most sacks in the NFL, and it showed how bad that offensive line can be when Jack Conklin missed a game and they looked terrible against the Chargers. Trent Williams may have to shift over to guard from tackle, but imagine Jack Conklin, Trent Williams, and Taylor Lewan on the same offensive line blocking for Derrick Henry. That could be one of the best run offenses in the NFL. The next player who's been the topic of many trade conversations, Miami Dolphins running back Kenyon Drake. There's a lot of teams out there that could use a running back, but the team that we feel like needs him the most, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I understand the Lions because of the whole carry on Johnson injury, but I feel like Matt Patricia is okay with Ty Johnson, J.D. McKissick, Trey Carson, maybe even Paul Perkins as his running back crew for the next eight weeks. Listen. The Buccaneers, they need a run game. They would have loved to get Tevin Coleman or Le'Veon Bell in the offseason, but they just didn't have the cap space. Peyton Barber and Ronald Jones, they're okay, but are they good enough to win you a Super Bowl? Probably not. Kenyon Drake, he may not be a franchise back, but he could be your starting running back and every down, three down back. Not to mention that Kenyon Drake is a very good receiving back, and if he's coached by Bruce Arians, who made the most out of David Johnson in the pass game and the run game in Arizona, 
Kenyon Drake could succeed in Tampa Bay. Player number three on our list, Bengals wide receiver AJ Green. A lot of teams out there that could benefit with Green, the Packers, the Jets, the Bills, but the team that we feel like could benefit with him the most, the Oakland Raiders. So here's why the Bengals should move on from AJ Green. He's in his 30s, Auden Tate is the future, Tyler Boyd is the present, AJ Green is the past. You're not gonna make the playoffs, you're gonna get a high draft pick. Why not couple that with a second round, maybe even a first rounder for AJ Green? So why the Oakland Raiders? They've needed a number one receiver since the whole Antonio Brown situation. Tyrell Williams is good, but he's not that guy. Yes, they got Zay Jones, but that's just not enough. They're still inquiring about other receivers in the league, such as Robbie Anderson from the Jets. Plus, this would be a John Gruden move. Gruden loves big names. So imagine if you got AJ Green to line up on the outside opposite of Tyrell Williams, you got Zay Jones in the slot. Darren Waller at tight end, and a franchise running back in Josh Jacobs, Derek Carr has plenty of names to play with. Next up, we're going to mention someone on defense, Vic Beasley of the Atlanta Falcons. There's a lot of teams out there that need pass rush help, but the team that would benefit the most, the Detroit Lions. It's time for the Falcons to move on from Vic Beasley. Had a great year during the Super Bowl run, but since then, hasn't done much. This move makes sense for both teams, for the Falcons. They just got a second round pick from the Patriots. Imagine getting a mid round pick for Beasley, maybe a third or a fourth round. You increase your chances of having a great draft in 2020. For the Lions, they could benefit with Beasley. They are the fifth worst team in the NFL when it comes to sacks. They need pass rush help. And for Vic Beasley, imagine this being a resurgence in his career, being paired with Matt Patricia, a creative defensive mind that will definitely find a role for him as a rotational player. The final trade candidate in this video, OJ Howard of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The best landing spot, the New England Patriots. So I originally had the Chicago Bears as the best landing spot, but after sitting down and looking at their draft picks after that whole Cleo Mack trade, I couldn't come up with a realistic scenario where the Bears would sacrifice more draft picks for OJ Howard. Instead, let's go with the team that won't stop bothering the Bucks about Howard. For both teams, this makes sense. For the Buccaneers, there's just no need for Howard. That simple. For the Patriots, there's a big need for tight end. The only position that you need. And if you acquire OJ Howard, game over. We already know what's going to happen. The movie's been spoiled. The Patriots are winning the Super Bowl. But that's all we have for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and leave a comment down below. Do you like these trade predictions? Do you disagree? Do you agree? If so, what are your predictions? Who are other players that you believe will be traded prior to the NFL trade deadline? Leave a comment down below and interact with us. Also subscribe to this channel so you can stay up to date when we come out with a new episode every single week. Also hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The username for all three is at time to football. Again, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll catch you guys later.